All right, day 10, day 10, day 10, day 10. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's see what we can get. Top to the bottom, top to the bottom. We're gonna choose this guy, we're gonna choose this guy. Let's see what we get. Welcome back guys, shout out to my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, Please, please, please subscribe, comment, like, share, all that good stuff. Hope you guys are having a great December. If you are not having a great December, I hope that changes today. I hope your December turns around and your December uh, begins to be a great December. Uh, full of joy, full of blessings, full of hope, full of everything just great all right let's uh let's get into it here run away together some really uh really cool artwork on on this card all right crushing vines uh two and a green choose one target creature uh, destroy, sorry, choose one, destroy target creature with flying, destroy target artifact. Three and a red, portent of betrayal. Gain control of target creature until end of turn, untap that creature. It gains haste until end of turn, scry one. Forceful denial, three, two, blue, cascade, instant, counter target spell. Doomed Traveler, one white. When Doomed Traveler dies, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. Not a bad card. Not, not a bad card at all, really. Uh, Phyrexian Rager, two in a black. When Phyrexian Rager enters the battlefield, you draw a card and you lose one life for a 2-2. Two, two. Fiery Cannonade, two and a red. Fiery can Cannonade deals two damage to each non-pirate creature. This is a great, 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 great card if you're a running pirate tribal. Uh, there's, a, there's another card uh, for elves that um, gives uh, non-elves... I, th I believe the way it reads is that um, uh, all non-elves get negative two, negative two until end of turn or something like that. So um, this card here, if you're running pirates, if you're running pirate travel, uh, especially if you if you want to stay in, you know, in this in this set, man, this this card is a must-have. It. But it's it's a great card. Scott Whaler shot two and a white instant destroy target creature with power three or greater. Scry one. Finn Clade Fugitives five and a green. Elf Salamander Rogue F Fugitives can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. Um, this is what makes this card um, even considerable. Uh, because of the high mana cost, is this Encore ability, four and a green. Um, exile this card from your graveyard for each opponent. Create a token copy that attacks that opponent this turn if able. They gain haste. Sacrifice them at the, uh, at the beginning of the next end step. Activate only as a sorcery, and it is a 7-4. Thorn of the Black Rose. I love the artwork on this card. It just uh, just looks really good. I just really like the artwork on this card. Almost looks um, way I can turn that. Almost looks uh, 3D on the camera here. Looks really good. Thorn of the Black Rose. Three and one black. Death Touch. 
When Thorn of the Black Rose enters the battlefield, you become the Monarch. And that, that is the key on this card, is becoming the Monarch. Path of Ancestry, always a uh, good card to have. Uh, it enters tapped, and you can tap and add one mana of any color to your uh, in your commander's color identity. When it's spent to cast a creature spell, it shares a creature type with your commander, scribe one. So it has a lot of value. It does come in tapped, but it uh, on the back end it has a lot a uh, lot of value. Workshop assistant three, artifact creature. Uh, when it dies, return another target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. Burnished heart, always, always a, a decent card to get three. It's a two-two uh, artifact creature. You pay three, sacrifice burnished heart, search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield tapped then shuffle your library ordeal of nalia one and a green enchantment enchant creature when enchanted creature attacks put a plus one plus one counter on it then if it has three or more plus one plus one counters on it sacrifice ordeal of nalia when you sacrifice the ordeal of nalia search your library for up to two basic land cards Put them on to the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. So it's a um, it's an enchantment that builds and builds and builds, and then it it's kind of like a bomb. It finally explodes, and when it explodes, you get uh, two lands from it. Volcanic torrent four and a red cascade sorcery deals X damage to each creature. And planeswalkers, uh, planeswalker that your opponents control, where X is the number of spells you cast this turn. So it's very, uh, very niche. Um, it, it's looking for uh, you've got to cast a lot of spells uh, that turn, but those spells are not not necessarily instances or sorceries. Uh, it could be creatures. It could be any spells. So, um, this is an explosive turn, you know, where you've, where you've got a lot of mana and you've cast a lot of things, um, then you play this at, at the end and then you, you just smash them in the face. I don't believe I currently have this card, Amp, uh, Amphin Mutineer, three and a blue, Creature Salamander Pirate. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, exile up to one target non Salamander creature. That creature's controller creates a 4 3 blue Salamander Warrior creature token. And uh, this one has an encore of 4 2 blue. And same thing, you exile the card from the graveyard. And then each opponent creates a, uh, for each opponent, create a token. The cool thing about this is you, uh, when you create these tokens, you get the enter the battlefield effect, which um, uh, when you, if you've got three opponents, you're going to get three exile uh, triggers uh, when these tokens come back into play. So that's a, that's a cool, cool thing on, on this card here. I'm going to set this one to the side. I may use that one. At, at some point uh, it's just janky enough uh, that I might actually use it goes to uh, Ramirez uh, can't be blocked by creatures with toughness 3 or greater and when it deals combat damage to a player choose up to one target card in a graveyard that was discarded or put there from a library this turn put that card into its owner's hand it has partner. Oh, we got uh, Kofanor, the last U. This is a uh, commander that I currently do not have. It has Vigilance Reach. Um, when it or another creature you control dies, return up to one other target creature card with lesser toughness from your graveyard 
to your hand. Now this would be, uh, I haven't even thought about it, um, uh, but this this would be a really, this would be a really cool commander um, to use with the moth. I wonder, um, let me just look up something real quick. I want to see if it'll actually work the way uh, hmm. no never mind it won't work the way I was thinking it would yeah this is a really uh, this is a really really cool commander especially with the colors that it's in with uh, white and green uh, typically those are uh, token they're they're generally related to token top decks white weenie decks uh typically have tokens and then green a lot of times is associated with uh elf tokens um so when those uh tokens die you can return up to one target creature card with um uh, well, it says with l lesser toughness, but you could you could be pumping those uh, tokens up uh, to be able to pull some bigger stuff out of your graveyard. So, I mean, that's you know that's some janky stuff you could be doing there. So, I mean, there's just potential there to to build around this guy. So, I don't know. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna set that to the side. That that looks like something I could uh, work on. Our foil is Howling Golem, and uh, got the popper and a zombie token in in the back there. So, all right, guys. Um, hope you guys are having a great day, great night. I'm not sure uh, when you're going to be watching this video. Uh, it may not even be 2020. You may be watching this in 2021. I don't know. But um, whenever it is, I hope you're having a great day. And if you're not having a great day, uh, if you're not having a great uh, week, a great month, a great year, I hope um, I hope that changes. Uh, I hope that blessings and uh, good times come your way. Uh, that is my. That truly is my hope. Uh, I hope that life uh, brings you good things and I hope that things turn around um, life is too short um, life should be good and I hope that good things come your way all right uh, this is alt MTG if you haven't subscribed hope you subscribe comment like share all that good stuff all right guys I appreciate it thanks for your time I'm out